In this video, I'll show you two cool things. I'll show you how to create a character that looks like yourself and then I'll show you how to use the created character in your presentations. By the end of this video, you'll be able to convert a PowerPoint presentation that looks like this into something like this. Now let's get started. To create your animated character, we are going to use a special tool called Animaker Deck. Animaker Deck is a tool designed to kill boring presentations with avatars, wacky GIFs and 100 million plus images and illustrations. Here are 6 simple steps that you have to follow to create and add an animated character to your PowerPoint presentation. Step 1. Import the pptx file. Go to your browser and search for the words Animaker Deck. Now click on the first link that appears on the results. Here, select the Create option and sign up for an account. A new project will open. We will import the pptx file into the Animaker Deck. Click on the Import option present over here. Now select the slide that you want to import. Step 2. Create a custom character. Let's add the animated characters to the slide. We can do that in two ways. We can either use any of the characters that are already present in the library or create a custom character. The library has a variety of characters starting from the animal characters, male and female characters, plus size characters and kids characters. For this presentation, I want a custom character. To create a character, click on the my characters section present over here and further select the create your avatar option. Let's build the character. First, select a basic character type to begin with. We have numerous options to edit the character. You can change skin color, facial features like hairstyle, eyes, eyebrows, ears, nose and so on. You can even add frown lines to make the character look old. You can also choose from different outfits, outfits of different professions and different cultures. You can even choose a different outfit for the bottom and top and even add wearables like hats, chains, eyeglasses and tattoos. Literally, you can create millions of unique characters using all these options. Once you have made all the changes to the character, save it. Now get back to the project and find the new character in the My Characters section. If the character is not visible, switch between the character section. Now the character will load and be visible to you. Click on the character to add it to the project. Step 3. Animating the characters. On the right hand side, you can see the different actions that can be applied to the character. Based on the content on the slide, you can choose an action. For example, this slide talks about tips to be productive. So I am searching for an action that represents having ideas. You can also change the expressions on a character's face. For example, right now the character is smiling, but if it happens to be looking angry or frustrated, the viewers will get a different feel while you present this slide. I'm gonna stick to the positive happy face. So cool right? In the same way, let's add a character to all the slides. I have added characters and relevant actions to all the slides. We can also change the background's color by simply clicking on it. Now you can see the option to change the color. You can add multiple colors using this plus icon over here. You can even choose between the type of gradient effect. In the same way, I am going to each of the slides and adding colors to the background. Step 4. Adding GIFs and Illustrations As the next step, we will see how to add GIFs and illustrations to the presentation. To show the passing of time, I am going to add a clock GIF to the slide. Open the images section and select the GIFI option. Further expand the sticker GIF section. Let's search for a clock. I like this one over here. Let's select it. For this slide, I want to add an illustration as a background. You can find the illustrations under the object section present in the library. Let's open the object section 
and search for an illustration. I'm adding this illustration as a background for the character and reducing its transparency. To move an object to the background, do a right click on it and select the option move to last. Let's reduce its transparency. Now the slide looks better. For the last slide I think the character itself is enough so I'm not trying to add any gif or illustration to it. Let's see how to edit the text. Click on a text and further click on the settings option. Now on the right hand side you can see the different options to edit the text. From here you can change the font style, size, color, undo a few other customizations. In the same way I am going to each of the slide and make changes to all the text boxes. I am done editing the text in all the slides. Step 5. Animating the slides. As the next step, I want to add animation to all the elements present on the slide. To open the animation options, click on the animate option present right above the slide. Now on the right hand side we can see all the elements present on a slide. Arrange them in the order you want them to appear. For instance, I want the number to appear first, followed by the title text and the character. So let me arrange the elements in the same order. If you further click on the drop down menu present on a specific element, you will get two more options. The first option lets you choose when the element should appear while you present the slide. Whether it should appear when the slide loads or when you make a click or along with the previous element or after the previous element appears. For instance, if we select the on load option for all the elements, all the elements will appear when the slide loads. If we select the on click option, the element will appear only when we do a click. For example, I am selecting the on click option for the character. So when the slide loads, all the elements will appear except for the character, which will appear only when we do a click. If we select the with previous option, the element will appear along with the previous element. For example, I am selecting the with previous option for the character and you can see how the character appears along with the previous elements. And if we select the after previous option, the element will appear after the previous element appears. For instance, if we select the after previous option for the character, it will appear after the previous element. In the first slide, I want all the elements to appear while the slide loads. So I am selecting the on load option for all the elements, including the character. The second option allows you to select an animation effect for the element. There are more than 50 animation effects. If you don't have the time to animate each element individually, you can select the apply to all slides option to apply the same effect to all the elements present throughout the slides. As I want a different animation effect for each of the elements, I am selecting it one by one. I have added animation effect to all the elements present throughout the slides. Let's see how to add transition effect between the slides. You can add transitions by selecting the option present between the slides. Here too you can apply the same transition effect between all the scenes in a single click. Step 6. Sharing the presentation. To share the project you can use the option at the top. This option to import a PPT and animate is available for paid users. However, you can create an animated presentation for free if you are creating it from scratch using Animaker Deck. I have created a full tutorial on how to create animated presentation. You can click on the link appearing above or the link in the description to learn more. Subscribe to the channel for more useful tutorials and let us know your thoughts in the comment section.